talking all about makeup and creating a makeup look. If you're new to my channel, my name's Chanel and I create videos from travel to makeup tutorials to how to's. Um, I've been a makeup artist for over six years now so yeah I just love to show you guys tips and tricks and everything in between and that's what we're going to be doing today and also we're going to be talking about gossip got to do with the Jeffree Star Times Shane Dawson collection. I'm going to drink my coffee because I tell you the launch I can't believe I slept in that day I didn't make it to the launch so I woke up at 9 a.m. and pretty much everything was sold out like gone on Beauty Bay on <laughs> Princess Bolly everything all the Australian websites gone um, so that was quite shattering and then I was waiting for the restock to happen and then two weeks later one of my friends snapped me and she was in the Morphe store and apparently they still had stock of it and in Australia, we just recently got the Morphe store in Melbourne Central. And I don't like Melbourne Central. I, li I don't like to go in there. Um, it takes me a little bit to travel to that area. But I thought after work, I would go and see if I could find the palette. So I went and it was sold out. But one day prior, my friend had been there and she bought the palette. So I can't tell you guys how shattering that was. So that's just a whole nother topic and a whole other issue. <laughs> mm, love that for me, really. Anyway, so once that happened, then Jeffrey said he was going to restock again and there was going to be pre-orders of about 60,000 units. I didn't make it again, so I'm so done with it. I'm no longer going to be buying it. Um, Hopefully when I go to the States next year, maybe I can get my hands on it. But other than that, this just brings me to my next thing. Because I purchased a couple of items from the new Morphe store while I was there. Because I was like, well, why not? Um, I already pretty much couldn't get what I wanted. So I just buy stuff instead to make up for it, right? So I have a couple of goodies in there. As well as just trying new products and new things. Um, or things that I really haven't touched in the moment and just create a makeup look that you guys can probably follow and, you know, it's easy to do. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. Alright, so we're going to be starting with primer. I don't have any new primers, but I have a primer that's been sitting in my drawer for so long and I haven't really been using it at all. So, we're going to try that on today. And it's the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. Never really used it. I've only used this once or twice in two other videos and haven't really given it a good chance. So why not? We'll just try it out today. So we're going to be playing with the new Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation. This was an absolute nightmare to shade match and I still think I got my shade wrong but it was so crazy in there I just could not deal anymore so I picked up a colour and I pretty much just purchased it just to get away from everyone. Um, I'm really bad with crowds, I get really bad anxiety so I just had to buy it and get out of there pretty much. Anyway, so this is the new full coverage foundation by Morphe. It's 24 hour long wear, sweat proof transfer resistance and water resistance. So this is a strong, serious foundation. Now, when this first came out, I did see a lot of reviews and a lot of them weren't good. But then again, everyone has different skin tones and something that might not work for me might work for someone else or vice versa. So. We're going to give it an honest review and a decent chance today. So there is so many shades that it makes it so confusing and a lot of the shades are very orange. So I don't know if it was just me that noticed that, but everything had like an orange tinge or a pink tinge to it and that's just not for me. So it's very interesting. So let's see how we go. I believe this is the wrong color for me, but I'll show you guys. So I got the shade 2100, which is one shade. This is where it's going to confuse you guys. <laughs> one shade below 300. That's right, guys. So 290 is lighter than 2100. And I don't know what the hell is with the shading system. But let's not get into that at the moment. So... Yeah, 2100. I just want to go on the website. 
This is what's strange. It goes 300 and then below that, the next shade is 2100. How does that make sense? I don't know. Anyways, let's pop it on. Something just off about the shades. I don't know what it is. Anyways, let's go in, put it on. I'm going to use probably my beauty blender just because I heard that this is super full coverage. So I want to try it with that today. on the light side but I don't mind that because it's not orange I can tell off the bat it's super super matte I don't mind that but I mean it looks really nice on but I don't know something's just odd about it at the moment maybe it settles into the skin changes a little bit of color feels better it feels okay it looks really nice on at the moment but I think it is that tad bit just like sitting on top of the skin which I don't mind but I wonder what the spreadability is and how it kind of melts into the skin because I like a foundation to melt into the skin and look seamless it's all right guys it's not bad I'm gonna go in with my Fenty bronzer just to bronze things up just a little bit not bronzer sorry concealer It's a very, very hydrating and looks really good on and full coverage, but the foundation wasn't really grabbing to my attention, so I'll apply that on. I like this because it looks really nice and seamless on. Um, the shade that I have is 265, which is a little on the light side, but I do also wear 300 as well at times. I want something a slightly brightening today. I'm gonna set everything with my Morphe powder and I purchased more of this by in Banana Light. Oh, just dropped that everywhere. Now, the Banana Light is more kind of almost translucent but matches my skin tone, which I love. Translucent with just a little bit of yellow, which I need in my skin tone. This powder is so affordable, $18. Like, how can you lose? No flashback either. Just gonna brush it off. Now I'm going in with my favorite bronzer. This is the Morphe Mega Star bronzer in the shade. Oh, it's glam bronzer in the shape mega star. No other bronzer compares to this one, I swear. I have been only using this. Mm, I see the first sign of like a crumble. So like dry skin patches. Oh no. No, no, no. I had high hopes for this foundation. My Jeffree Star setting spray, maybe that'll help. Kinda helped. I just feel like very caked on at the moment, which like, mm, doesn't really bother me because like I wear heavy makeup, but this would not be for the natural type of girl. She would not like this foundation, that's for sure. 
to go in with my highlighter. I haven't used this in ages actually, so I kind of miss it. So and it was just right in reach, so I want to try it. I haven't really played with this in ages. Serious highlighter, honestly. Now I purchased the Pia Louise color I wanted, so I got the first one because we're gonna only use it on our eyes and everyone goes on about this face, so I just wanted to test it out for myself. I know this won't be a proper skin match, but it will, it will do. <laughs> and this is for like to cut creases and so forth, so I'm not too worried. Just going with our beauty blender and apply that on. It's definitely white. So I feel like going in with my peach palette by ColourPop Cosmetics creating an eye look using the baby got peach palette the palette here it's so so pretty now i think i'm going to go in with the shade half baked Now I feel like being a bit PG 
cheek on the cheek, so I'm just gonna rub the two face. Peach blush. And this is the finished look. Super easy, but fun, and just testing out new products, which I love to do. Um, and I just created something fun with bold colors and the foundation I really, really am not a fan of, which I knew it was gonna happen. But let me just tell you this, it is so full coverage, it's actually insane. So if you're looking for a full coverage foundation, you're going to love that Morphe one. But for me, it just doesn't do it because I have dry skin and I don't like dry patches, so that's my only concern. But everything else, like the P. Louise base was okay and the bright one was my favourite and the Suave is my favourite, like gel liner, uh, like liquid... <sighs> Uh, hydrogel liner and just really like that um, I think this looks so fun and so colorful I'm really excited for summer so this is just getting me in the mood so I hope you guys have loved this little I don't know testing products and makeup look don't forget to let me down in the comments down below what you'd like to see and if you have been liking the content I've been creating hoping to see you guys in the next video bye now